for us. Okay, so we're gonna teach you how to store your produce. And so it's really important for you to know when you go grocery shopping, you don't just take it and all throw everything into the refrigerator in the same drawer. Fruit and produce produce something called ethylene. Okay, mm -hmm. and so ethylene is going to make other produce spoil. And so things that have a lot of ethylene when they're ripening are bananas and tomatoes, which should never be kept in the refrigerator. Yeah, and bananas too, they'll, they'll darken in the refrigerator. My sister throws them in the freezer though when they're overripe. And that's not bad. Yes, for smoothies Easy. or even for banana bread or baking. Easy. Not a bad Good not to a defrost bad and it's uh, definitely a way to save. So what are your thoughts on onions? Onions should be stay, they should be out of the refrigerator out as well. Out of the well. refrigerator Same thing as with well. potatoes and in a darker area. So what we tend to do is we kind of throw everything on the counter. Right. And what happens is we put something like this together and the ethylene that gets produced out of these are gonna start to rot, rot the rest those. of them. Correct. So we keep them separate. This is cool, dark place. My mom never used a dishwasher in her life, and <laughs> all the places we rented or that we would move into had a dishwasher. My mother used to keep the onions and the potatoes in the dishwasher. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to keep them away from our leafy greens especially. So apples produce a lot of ethylene as well. So if you keep these guys together, they're gonna make your all your greens wilt quickly. So keep them in a separate drawer if you wanna chill your Correct. eggs. Correct, exactly, 100%. And so same thing with mushrooms. If you keep these vegetables or fruits together, other fruits that'll do this, like avocados, peaches, plums, they all ripen. So we wanna keep these beautiful other veggies away from things that produce a lot of ethylene to make your produce last longer. And I also keep my mushrooms, I take them out of the plastic bags that many produce departments have and I keep them in paper so there's a little more air getting Absolutely. to them mm -hmm. so they don't get too gummy. They'll get gummy fast. Okay, so berries grow close to the ground, especially strawberries. They have a super porous skin. And what happens when we don't wash them properly, they'll get moldy quickly. And we want to prevent that from happening. So first you want to rinse them off from any excess dirt. And then what you want to do is you want to wash them in or dip them in one part white vinegar and three parts water. Really good tip. So we're going to put this in a, in a colander like this so that way we can dip it. You don't want to soak it, okay? And I think we may run into... Okay, yeah. we're gonna mix those together. So, we wanna dip them. We don't want to... Take them for a little baby swim. Oh, yeah, so we're gonna <laughs> kinda swirl them around. We don't wanna soak them. The soaking is gonna get the vinegar flavor in that porous skin. And then we're going to just take them after they're dipped, and you're gonna get them back in the fridge. Fantastic, and then pop them back in the fridge. <laughs> take it for a little spin. Teach you how to pick a pineapple, and so, when you go into the grocery store and you see a pineapple that's really green like this, mm -hmm. it is not ready to eat, okay? And so a couple of ways that you can know when a pineapple is perfect is by its color. And the these come out really easy when the they're ready. The top, right. right. So you, if they come out too quickly like this and they look this dark, dark orange, this is overripe. That's such a good tip. Orange. No, no good. good. Right. Just like a caution cone. Exactly. Don't buy that pineapple. <laughs> so, and if they don't have good ones, buy a green one and ripen it at home. Gotcha. Gotcha. We're going to talk a little bit about how to pick squash, okay? And so, um, some people would say bigger is better when it comes to squash. Mm -hmm. That is not a true statement. So, the smaller the squash, actually the more tender it will be. And so, these guys are a little bit on the bigger side. And these, what I wanted to show is that these are a little dehydrated. They're super bendy and they shouldn't be. And you should always look at the tips of them, the stems. As they're old, they're dry. The stems are going to be dry. And if they're nice and ripe, look, you see some water coming out? Right. There's so moisture left. There's the moisture left, cut. so they'll be, they'll be nice and wet. When you go into the grocery store, if you can do that, you know that they're fresh, they're firm, and that's how you can pick them. Firm is, is important for eggplant, too. Yes, you think? absolutely. Heavy. Heavy. We were, we were both we're about to saying when you're shopping for eggplant, you want it to be really heavy. It should not be light and spongy. It should be heavy and dense. Otherwise, when you cut it open, it's going to be black and dried out. Exactly. 100%. Nicely done. All right. Thank you. Woo. Nicely done.